Okay, so um, Atheist Republic needs to address some things. And so other people, if you've been following this channel, especially our news podcast, we have mentioned on several different episodes, and we had an interview with um, Nasser Amari. Um, long story short, um, credible allegations and new evidence has come forth against him. And so we are withdrawing. Wait, we have to tell people what, who, like, withdrawing, like, okay. Credible um, source stories about him, but what? Who is this guy? Like, why did we support him? What was this guy's story? Yeah, yeah. So, um, Nasser Mari was a Tunisian atheist refugee who was facing deportation from Denmark, and we got involved in promoting his case to help prevent his deportation from Denmark. Um, is that enough background? Before uh, ARN is saying he contributed towards Nasser, uh, there is going to be a full refund on everybody who contributed to his campaign. But but thank you, ARN, for caring. But there's going to be a full refund on that. But go on. Um, I'll provide information in a second. Um, so, yes, we are withdrawing our support of this case. And um, I would like to read a statement I wrote. Um I released this yesterday. We would like to thank the Atheist Republic community for raising your concerns regarding the fundraiser for atheist refugee Nasser Amari. We took your worries seriously and examined all claims thoroughly. Upon examination of new evidence that was brought to our attention, we have made the difficult decision to withdraw support from Amari's asylum case. Atheist Republic um, applies strict criteria in determining those to whom we provide support. Amongst those is that we only support individuals and cases who have been thoroughly screened and endorsed by at least three other organizations also involved in assisting atheists slash humanists in danger. In spite of our efforts, this case evolved in an unfortunate and regrettable decision. We would like to thank our community once again for voicing your concerns, and we deeply appreciate your feedback and continued support. Now, importantly, Atheist Alliance International has informed us that they will be reaching out to donors over the next week to offer them a full reimbursement of their donation towards this legal fund. Um, you may also email asn at atheistalliance.org with evidence of your donation for a full refund. So once again, that is asn at atheistalliance.org. Um, All right, so mm -hmm. go ahead. I just want to mention that uh, we shouldn't be like, First of all, that statement was um, brought to our previous uh, CEO, who still in, is in, very much involved with Atheist Republic. She told us that that statement was also very bad. Um, she told us that our criteria um, is not good. And this is my fault, okay? Uh, we, Even though everybody is going to get refunded, and if they don't, we're going to be chasing after AI to see what the hell is going on, right? Um, but even though everyone's going to be refunded, we shouldn't... Um, we should be kind of honest. We fucked up, right? Um, Ali, when Ali was the CEO, she had a very strict due diligence process and criteria built in house that she went, um, she used to analyze every case to make sure that we don't fall for scams, um, or anything that is that shouldn't be supported, um, and uh, and when she uh, left, she actually had made it clear that, oh, I mean, she didn't leave. She just stepped, she was, she, 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 she wasn't just a CEO anymore, but she had also, she was available to us and all her years of experience on, on how to, uh, like if, if we use her method, she would have, this would have not been supported. Right. And we had that at, at our disposal. Uh, and we didn't use it. When Susanna came to me and she asked me, what's the criteria? I should have told her, like, I should have known better. I should have been like, we have Ali and she knows. She has worked on this. She has built a really good model on how to analyze these cases. Instead, I told her because I thought Susanna is uh, new and she, instead of referring her to, because 
I should have told Susanna this. Like, listen, I'm in the marketing and the content creation part of Aces Republic. Um, I think Ali would be the best person to tell you what the, how we analyze this. Instead of that, I told her, I thought that with the criteria that I suggested to her, and I had discussed this with other people and told me that this is good, but Ali then explained to me later on how why this is so wrong. The criteria that I came up with um, was as long as three legitimate organizations are signing off this as uh, on this as something good, legitimate, uh, then we could safely support it. Like, so if we have three bi major atheist organizations or um, secular organizations that are saying that this is a case that we should be able to support, then I think that's safe enough for us to go ahead and promote the uh, promote that case, right? And th this case shows that th that's not good. And this actually also this shows how Ali's due diligence process is so good that it uh, like. When we supported Nasser, we did have three organizations, three major organizations that were supporting his case. But given that Ali's models would have caught this, it shows that how good of a due diligence process we have had that Ali built over years that we didn't use. That I, it's my fault that it, it's not Susanna's fault. I gave Susanna bad advice, right? Um, and how stupid of me is it, uh, was it that I didn't go fall back to that, right? That I just like, hey, Ali, or like, I went with a quick and easy model instead of something that was that Ali worked built years on building, right? And even though Susanna um, is you know doesn't have Ali's experience, she, she she has access to Ali. Like I should have just told her that. Like Ali is right here with us, right? So that was really dumb, right? So if I say like everybody's going to get refunded, uh, that is not an excuse. We fucked up. Right, we fucked up. Uh, I no, no, we didn't fuck up. I fucked up. Okay, um, Susanna uh, trusted me. She sh she shouldn't have trusted me. Like I mean, it was my. She should trust Ali going forward. Uh, first of all, we're gonna do. We're gonna go back to what Ali was doing, um, and we're gonna um, use the process that we have had in the past. Um, I mean, we we're, we're lucky that everybody's gonna get refunded on this. If Imagine what what a mess we would be in if if we if the refunding was not possible, right? So we just given you know so the reason why I'm saying we fucked up is that we just got lucky that this is uh, that AAI is going to be able to refund people. Like this could have been easily a much bigger disaster than it is right now, right? Um, but we are going to do better. We are going to be a lot more strict. Going back to the strict model that we have. Uh, we, if we, when, we, whenever we do, one thing I can promise you is that whenever we do fuck up, we're not gonna sugarcoat it. We're not gonna, we're gonna tell you like we fucked up, okay? And this was a major fuck up. We're sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. We fucked up. We shouldn't have supported this case. There is no excuse for this, and we're gonna, we're gonna do better. Um, you could, you could at least. I can at least promise you that when we fuck up, we're not going to hide that from you because we're mm -hmm. going to come and tell you guys that we fucked up. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I share the same sentiments. Um, all apologies. Um, I can speak for myself in saying that in my eagerness to help with someone that I believe to be in danger and working under some strict um, time constrictions, um, I did my due diligence to the best of my ability and this still happened. Um, and it sucks and it's very disappointing because on all of the different people that I've worked different, several different organizations that I work with on this case, I know that everyone was working in good faith. Everyone that I've worked with regarding this situation was acting in good faith and it sucks That's to... What? I mean, that's not saying much. That's we, <laughs> good faith is not really that big of a deal. There needs to be very strict, rigorous process. Yeah. And I mean, the the sad thing about it is that we had that. Ali had created that, um, and we and we didn't use it. So, but go on, sorry. Um. Yeah. So. Um. To address kind of a, a point of, of ARN which is um, this means that we have to um, 
it, it, it sucks when people um, abuse a situation like this because that means that we have to raise our standards for everyone else who needs help as well. Um, and, um, oh, we just got a super chat from Alex Blue. Oh, thank you, Alex. That's very kind. Um, yeah, thank you, Alex. I appreciate that. There were also some and, comments from Michael if you want to share that. Yeah, I'm going to highlight that. But yeah. ARN is saying, so ARN saying, I don't care about the refunds. Don't let the setback affect help for refugees in the future well this is why we have to be so uh, we have to tell people that we fucked up because we don't want people to i mean he, here's another sad thing um because of our record uh, because of what ali did we have had a very good record over being very you know over people trusting the cases that we support right um and all of that is thanks to Al, um, ali and Again, we we promise that we're going to go back to that. We, um, you know, we're not. I mean, it's there's two things that's going to happen. Like first, we're going to make sure that we consult Ali about the cases, but also, um, it's not it's not fair to expect Susanna to basically know everything that Ali was doing and learned over over more than a decade, right? Um, that's why we need her. Um, you know, she she also made it clear that. Uh, this is a very long process and it takes time and uh, and this is something that most other organizations don't have it this is so, this is such a this, here's why it makes I'm so upset is because this is something that we recognize many other organizations don't have and we had it and that's why this is a big bigger even tragedy than I because this the thing that set us apart from other people just supporting anybody that comes and says like, you know, we need help, we need help, or even people that did have due diligence processes, their, their methods were not that good in analyzing who who genuinely has a good case. We we actually set ourselves apart from many other organizations because of that. And with this one case, because of my stupidity, all of the work that Ali had done over a decade could now be dismissed because people could point to this case that we fucked up. And again, the difference between my criteria, uh, which is like less than, less than a five minute analysis compared to what Ali had is like night and day. Uh, so this is why I don't want people to say like, oh, Armin, at least you're being honest. That's good. No, I did. This is a royal fuck up by me. OK, this is like a major, major like it's so frustrating uh, how big of a f disappointment this is to all the you know, to, to what Atheist Republic stands for and promises. So again, I apologize, like, do not, you know, don't come and say like, oh, Armin is, Armin is okay, we're all trying hard. It, it doesn't fucking matter if you're trying hard. This is, it's, you didn't try hard enough, right? We didn't try hard enough. I didn't try hard enough, right? Uh, I mean, good I... intentions, good intentions and all that. No, people trusted you, they gave you money and you didn't do what they trusted you to do, right? And they're going to be questioning whether they should be trusting you in the future. This was, there's no excuse for this, but go on. Um, yeah, and I, I reviewed several le legal documents throughout this situation. Um, and what is important is that when we were presented with better evidence, and new evidence, we are correcting. We're being transparent about it. Because that's the only way you can go about repairing the damage to our credibility. So, yeah. Um, Aaron is saying having a very strict criteria may be dangerous for legitimate refugee asylum seekers. It will cause delays, which may result in bad outcomes. Um, that's true, Aaron. But the thing is that if you don't... Okay, so it does slow things down. It does slow things down. However... If we don't do that, it's going to be really hard for us to continue getting support for more cases in the future, right? So if you help, if you do 100 legitimate cases and do one case that ends up being not legitimate, that one legit, un, le, legitimate, in that one case that was not the right one is going to be used as a way to uh, lose for people to not support 
the other the next 100 upcoming cases do you know what i mean so that's why it will slow things down but for the sake of people being able to trust you with their donations it's important that we're strict and also remember that every time a case is being denied because we didn't have enough evidence um, even if it is a case of somebody that d d did need help, but we couldn't support them because we couldn't verify that they that they, this is a legitimate case, it's not that it's not that they're not being nobody is being helped. It's somebody else who is needing help is being replaced by them, right? So the the number of people that need help is astronomically higher than the resources that we have. So it's not. It's not a it's not a question of whether we're helping somebody or if we're not helping somebody. It's just a question of like if we have five slots for people to help, who gets that five slots, right? Who 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 do we pick? It's not like going to four people instead of five people. At the end of the day, we will be helping like five people given the resources that we have. So no, you know, so just to be clear, um there is already enough there's already more than enough people with legit with credible cases more than the resources that we have to help them anyways so it's not like oh we have we oh we're not we're going to help less number of people the 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 bottleneck is not um the number of valid cases the bottleneck is the resources that we have so just to be clear about that um yeah but again sorry there's no excuse for this again every time i say people will get refunded it's not to dismiss how big of a fuck up this was okay um but anyways if you do continue to trust us going forward thank you for giving us a second chance even if you think we don't deserve it we appreciate that we will do better um we will make sure that we go back to our um the ways that we were doing things the alleyway um and again i hope you can forgive us we will, but if you don't, I understand. Anything else you want to say, Susan? Mm, no, I think that about covers it. Um, okay. Bottom line I, is I appreciate people for bringing new and better information to me. That matters a lot to me. Yeah. And um, I, I really value um, the community coming forward with what they knew. Um, it shows a lot of care for us as well. And I appreciate that. Right. Oh, wow. We got another $5, oh. five pounds. Super chat. Thank you, Daniel. Well, Daniel is already a member and he gave us another super chat. Thank you guys. That's very sweet. Um, again. Okay. And thank guys. Don't hold back though. Um, if you think we're doing anything wrong, we see ARN. It will tell us, um, ARN is being very good today with his feedback. Uh, anyways, uh, love you guys today I'm gonna say love all you guys usually I say love the people who subscribe only but today I'm extending that love to everybody everybody today only today though uh, wow what we got another super chat what the hell well thank you so much James is giving us a ten dollar super Thanks, chat love you guys Aww. wow you guys are being Wait, how, do we have to? No, never mind. I was gonna. Oh. It. It's not proper. Not not a good time to make. No, not right, right now. <laughs> no. Um, we're sending no. love to everyone except for the haters. No, 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 to everyone. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> we right, really, let's... we really appreciate the continued support. It means a lot to me, especially as right. someone who has come into this leadership position fairly recently. And um, it's fair to say that I'm glad I learned this lesson now. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad that we uh, Susanna saw this on a case like this rather than something that. Anyways, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fuck it up because I might say things. I I might actually let's end this right now because I'm about to make some jokes that is not appropriate for this time at all, right? Uh, but again, Maybe thank you. These are public after hours. <laughs> <laughs> thank you again for James. James and also again to Daniel. Thank you, you guys are very kind. Thank you so much. Anyways, bye bye. See you guys later. News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell, <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not 
telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us deprioritize what does that mean that means we're not we don't show up on the suggested you know videos on the right and all that you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow unfortunately we can't grow so we need you guys to share our videos 